Hello, welcome to the basics of Pandas data frame video. In this video, I'm going to teach you the basics of Pandas data frame, but while solving some business problems or questions, right? I have four questions with me in this particular video, and we're going to basically solve these four questions. But while we are solving it, we're going to touch the basics of Pandas. So let's get into this video. First, we'll begin by importing the Pandas library or the package. So it's going to be import pandas as pd. Now, first question that we're going to answer is find the top five customers in 2015, right? So let's look at that particular data set that we have for this particular case. Now I have customer ID, their transaction amount in a yearly fashion that is transaction amount for 2011 12 13 14 and 15 and similarly how many transactions they did in that particular year right the next thing that i have with me in this is when when did they do their first transaction and when did they do their last transaction now this is a summary data based on the order details of this particular uh, retail e-commerce website However, I just have the summary and we're just now handling the summary of this particular data. So let's move forward. So I've run the uh, I've basically written the code to import pandas as PD. I'm just going to run that and it's successfully going to import the pandas package. Now I'm going to import the data set that is a retail data customer summary dot CSV, right? So I'm just going to copy this one and the basics of import goes like this, right? So I want to basically have some data called as customers and I can equate that to PD dot read underscore CSV, right? And then within a single quotation, I will give the data set name or the CSV file name for importing. Now, while I'm importing it, notice I've said PD dot read CSV and within quotation, I've given the .csv file for import. Now, if there are some other parameters that we can uh, do within this particular method, but we're just going to ignore all of that now, and we're going to stick to the basic one as is a comma separated file, and it's going to be easily imported with this default parameter. So moving forward, if I run this code, I should have successfully imported the customer's data. Moving forward, the first, uh, you know, uh, moving forward, we want to find the top five customers in 2015, right? So that's the first question. So obviously, if you want to basically look at the data, what you're not, what you're going to do is, I'm just going to say customers, right? Uh, which will basically list all the customers that are there within that data frame, right? And if you just move towards the right hand side. Uh, what you'll see is 13 columns and the top five rows and the bottom five rows, right? So basically what you're seeing is these five rows and along with it, you're basically seeing the last five rows also, right? And that's how basically it just dumps the data and it, it's not something that is interpretable. However, now if you want to basically have an interpretable format, right? We use the dot head method. Now, how do we use this? We take any data frame that is the customer's data frame, right? And we say dot, and then we say the head method on this, right? And we say open close uh, method. And as you can see that, you know, you basically have n is equal to five as a parameter here. And I'm just going to leave that as a default here uh, without any parameter because it works without it also. And if I run it, you'll see that I'll, I'll be able to see the top five records of this particular data, right? Now we, we did still answer the question of getting the top five customers here. We just got the top five rows, right? We rarely know that, you know, in this kind of situations, you know, you'll always have the top five customers in the top five rows, right? We have to basically sort this data in a such a way that you get the top five customers in in this particular data set, right? So to get the top five customers, how do we do that? We basically say sort, and then you sort it by transaction amount from largest to smallest to basically get the top five customers. And, and 
typically these are the top five customers in terms of transaction amount right i'm just going to say control z and go back to the data frame that we are handling that is a customer's data frame and then we're going to use the sort mechanism to basically get the top five customers right so to do that i'll basically do something like this i'll say customers dot right and use the sort method right now the sort uh, has sort indexed and sort values for now we are going to use the sort values which will basically help us do it on a particular column right so the sort column that we are going to use i mean the column that we are going to be sorting is the transaction amount 2015 so we can simply say tran underscore amount underscore 2015 right so if i do that it should basically sort the data and i should get the transaction amount on the top but you'll notice that it's basically doing a ascending order sort right which means if i had to do the ascending order sort it will be looking something like this i'll say transaction amount 2015 and smallest to largest it's what it's what we are seeing here right but we don't want this we want the sort to be in the descending order it's from largest to smallest and if i say okay that's the sort that we are looking for so if i go back to the data and if i had to do this in pandas i basically have to do something like this i have a parameter called as ascending is equal to true so by default the ascending is equal to true and if i want this to be in descending order what i need to do is basically say ascending is equal to false this way pandas knows or this sort values method knows that i need to sort this data in a descending order right so if i do this it'll sort the data in descending order of 2015 the transaction amount of 2015 and i'll basically get the entire data frame like we saw in this particular place but hey let's layer this particular method here so that we get only the top 5 records right so if i say dot head extend it with the dot head and say run now i get the top 5 customers here right and if i just have to convert this into a top 10 customers what i can do is i can just you know take an argument as 10 here and then find the top 10 customers listed with the pandas sort values and head method combination right so that way we basically answered the first question of finding the top 5 customers in 2015 using the head and sort method right so moving on to the next question let's see the next question that we have it's find top customers in 2014 that did not buy in 2015 so let's move on to the next question here's the next question that we have right so first um the concept that we will be doing is now selection of columns right single or multiple uh, and then we want to basically select uh, the columns that will help us uh, identify or answer this particular question so to begin with answering this question what we're going to do is we're going to take the same code that we used earlier here right and i'm just going to replace this with 5 i'm just going to take this value obviously and i want to find the top customers in 2014 so if i just change this particular value to like 14 i'll be able to do the same thing but i get the top uh five customers of 2014 basically what i'm trying to do here is that if i sort the data by 2014 from largest to smallest i basically have the top five customers and then if i just have these two col columns alone i'll be basically able to look at this data set so moving forward if you go to the next uh, you know problem statement here we ba will basically further enhance this what we're going to do is we're going to store this 2014 customers the top customers uh, within a particular new data frame right this is a place where we are uh, you know basically creating another data frame much like we have a sql uh create right where you are creating a another table and storing whatever resultant data set you have within it right so here i'm going to say 
customers underscore 2014 uh, as the new data frame um, customers as a new um, data frame which will basically store the value top five customers are 2014 so if i run it you basically get uh, the customers of 2014 but uh, to analyze this further what we want is to be uh, be able to select two of the columns together so that we are able to look at it and identify the customers that did not buy in 2015 so what we're going to do is i'm going to take the customers 2014 data frame which is now holding the top five customers and now try to select those two columns that basically help you um, you know uh, select a particular column here right now obviously um, you know you want to basically select one column at a time let's see how, how that can be done right if I want to select just the top five customer IDs from this data frame it will be some simply like customer ID and then I'll be able to run this and get the customer IDs however I you know this does not solve the problem right I want to basically have the two supporting columns that will help me answer that question and if I make another list within it right this holds only one column right now but then I can give a comma and then add any, any additional columns that I may require uh, for this particular case right so in this particular case I want transaction amount 2014 uh, comma transaction amount 2015 to give me a picture of who are the customers that did not uh, buy in 2015 and uh, like we have it within the Excel we are now able to get those customers that did not buy in 2015 however a little detail that we can push within pandas is that we can group these ones that are uh, together right so how do we do that we can basically uh, take them and then sort uh, the this we can sort this particular uh, columns right um, in in a way that the NAs will be together right so how, how do we do that I'm going to say sort underscore values like we did uh, earlier right and I'm going to give the column name that we're going to sort, uh, sort it by I want to sort it by 2015 um, here and the case that I want to build here is that I want to basically have the NA position first right so I'm going to say NA underscore position is equal to be first so what this does is basically uh, you know when it's sorting this data no matter where the NAs are present or, or not it will basically put all those NAs first so that you can um, you know see them together so if I run this particular code you'll see that all the NAs will basically come together right and um, that's one really neat feature where uh, sorting becomes a lot easier with uh, Python pandas and um, uh, a really uh, helpful feature is to be able to group the NAs together either first or last depending on the kind of business problem you're solving right so obviously uh, we are now uh, you know answering the question of who are the top customers that did not buy in 2015 and that will be these two customers uh, that did not buy in 2015 moving forward let try to um, you know get the details of all the customers uh, for a, for a given set, a set of customers right so uh, if you're looking at the next question that we are trying to answer let's basically select this uh, details for uh, all the given set of customers right so in this particular case what we have is we have a set of customers that we want to extract all the columns uh, so that we are able to view the details right and the the sample customers are provided below right now obviously if you want to select the customers it's a row wise selection which means uh, basically we are doing a selection uh, basis on the row here right now obviously many of us can deal with a conditional statement to get the customers here but we want to really now uh, get uh, it in the construct of Py python pandas basics right so let's give it a shot now like we selected the columns using a square bracket right either one column or multiple columns using a list 
like that we can also select a particular customer using the square bracket notation right so i'm going to say customers i'm going to go back to my original data set and hey i'm going to say hey give me this particulars uh, this particular uh, what is a customer details right so if i do that it's basically going to give me an error and it's going to give key error uh, that's expected because uh, you know while we are doing by default uh, while we are where we are selecting something by default within square brackets for a data frame is basically going and looking uh, looking for this particular name uh, within the columns here right so obviously it will not find it uh, because they are present in the rows right so definitely there should be a way where we can select it uh, using uh, some other notation right and that uh, other notation happens to be the dot loc notation so if i say dot loc right i should be able to select it from rows right but if i do that again you'll see that you know you'll get an error uh, and the difference lies in identifying uh, the index for this particular data right so um, what i mean uh, by index is that if i am able to convert a column into index it basically uh, makes it a, a something like a primary key where uh, this particular data frame has a named column array but also a named uh, index array or a, you know an array where you can identify each of the row with a particular uh, direct calling name right so that particular that happens to be the dot loc but it's not going to work unless you convert that particular column into a index right so how do we convert a particular column into an index we convert it by using a uh, a method called as set index so by default the index is going to be 0 1 2 3 4 and we can test that by saying customers dot head right and say run and you'll see that basically by default you have 0 1 2 3 4 uh, as the index which means if i had to take one customer details from this if i uh, and let's say that is the first customer that we have here that is cs2945 it has an index of zero and if i say dot loc of zero which means i'm pointing to this particular first customer so if i run this particular code you'll see that i get the first customer and its relevant details in this particular format right if i change this to one i'm basically getting the customer of uh, the second customer's details here and I'm, I'm listing it here right now obviously when we have the customer names such as this we don't know which 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 uh, is their index right so obviously in this case we are not be will not be able to select it right so the notation that we want to basically use is to you basically have that uh, notation with the name and we'll be able to select it right so fortunately we have uh, something called as a dot loc operator which does that but first uh, before we do that um, properties uh, run that method we need to uh, you know set an index to the particular column which will help us select a set of customers based on that key value there right much like a primary key value in sql but um, you know obviously in this case we can have repeated values but the idea here is to basically convert it into an index which will help us select a certain values in a in a much more tactical way right there are multiple ways to do it and the easiest way after you imported a particular data frame is like this right so you have customers uh, dot and then say set index right open close bracket and then say give the column name that you want to do it right so i'm going to say customer underscore id as the one that i want to set as index and if i say set an index you'll see the index has been set right it's gone from having 0 1 to 3 4 to having the customer id as an index now moving forward obviously now once we have set the index right and uh, now if i just copy the code that we initially ran this one i should be able to uh, basically get the details of the customer that we have there right so if i run it you'll see uh, it's it's not coming it's giving in an error and let's see what happens 
why is that uh, particular error coming if i check it as head again right you'll notice uh, we have changed it in the previous step but it's not changing uh, as we check this particular deta detail here right the reason this does not happen is that in pandas right uh, making a change by default is is not an option right we have to explicitly make that option callable by the user right so in this particular case i want to introduce you to argument called as in place is equal to true which means i'm going to take the same thing that i did here setting the index but every time you want to make like a permanent change to a data frame right you have to explicitly call a, a argument that is called the in place uh, operator here right say in place is equal to and then say true right so this will tell the uh, pandas set index method that hey this particular is this particular change that you want to make make it permanent in the data set customers right if i do that uh, and then check the customers um, the the head that we have here uh, you'll see that it's permanently made right now if i want to basically select the customers that I want along the um, along the rows, I will be able to do it using the uh, customer name uh, or the ID that we have here. Right? So I'm just going to copy this customer ID here, paste it. Let me just run this one and run it. Um, it should be dot loc. Sorry, and I should get the customer details. Right. Now obviously we want to uh, get all these customer details so if i want to add the next customer uh, i mean if i want all the customers i want to have them together right what i will do is i will put them together in a particular um, value array here like this right so i'm just going to copy this uh, values here and close it by a, a square bracket and i'm going to enclose this, all of these values within a single quotation and then run this code right so if i run this code hey why is this particular error coming right and it will be saying too many indexers uh, that are saying here right which means uh, what we need to do is uh, if you're giving more than one value to be searching and to re retrieve that rows um, you're basically going to give it in a form of list that is you add another square bracket here give that list of values uh, for which the row should be extracted right and for this particular customer uh, five customer ids we're going to now extract the details uh, that we require as per the question right so um, you know the question was obviously um, in this particular scenario the question was um, find um, select the details all columns for a given set of customers and we were able to uh, you know find out the details of a given set of customers and hence learning the concept of slicing the data set by columns and then extracting information not only for one particular value but for multiple values as well right so this was a concept of selecting multiple rows using the dot loc parameters and the same is possible obviously by giving the index numbers okay so moving on now the next question that we have is selecting 2015 transaction amount the number of transactions for the same customers right so we're going to basically learn um, you know selecting multiple columns and rows using the dot loc parameter in this particular scenario and uh, what we have individually learned so far is how do we select columns multiple columns uh, how do we slice uh, single rows um, and you know select multiple rows uh, right but we can combine these two pa things together and then also get the details right so how do we do that is the next question that is uh, selecting uh, 2015 transaction amount and number of transactions for the same customers right so this is what we are going to be doing in this particular problem statement okay um, where is the problem statement yeah here's the problem statement right and the output that we are going to basically look at is uh, this right so how do how do we do that so by, uh, to select multiple columns and rows and to answer this particular question what we are going to do is we are going to begin by taking the number of 
pros right so that's going to be very straight forward because for the same set of customers i want uh, the details uh, as of now so this is the uh, details that we have but hey i want 2015 transaction amount and the number of transaction uh, transaction right so how do we do that uh, while we use the dot loc operator right while we select the rows um, in this particular case this dot loc op method can also help me select the columns that i want right and this can be done by giving uh, another list to this particular notation here and that list will basically contain the column names right and uh, the first set of the first list is obviously the rows and then the second list is going to be the column names right so we want the tran amount uh, along with the number of transactions so i'm going to say 2015 comma i want a transaction amount right so that's that's this particular uh, case here so i'm going to say transactions that's going to be 2015 right so basically i just want these customer details and these two columns right if i run this you'll see i basically get these details right it's kind of like uh, basically you know uh, sorting the data in 2015 largest to smallest right and then basically i taking these columns together right this one and this one together if i copy it and then paste it here you'll see that i basically got a subset of a data set which is giving me the top 5 customers with their transaction amount and transactions right so it's kind of that subset that we are creating within uh, pandas data frame right with excel it's obviously you select and copy paste it uh, that makes it easy but with pandas this is how you do the same uh, details right now obviously like all things uh, uh, we need to just have a closed loop and query on this particular thing and that is basically erasing the uh, index right maybe there is some other index that you want to set and how do you reset the index is basically you say customer dot reset uh, index and then uh, if you want to make the change permanent you're going to say in place is equal to true which will reset the index right which means if i had to rerun this particular code right it will no longer give me the results because uh, you know we have reset the index and now by default right the index is going to be again um the uh, the, uh, the column uh, the row names uh, that we have there right the the default that is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 So guys uh, we've come to basically answering all four questions so far in this particular video we've answered uh, how to find the top 5 customers in 2015 using the head and the sort operator and then we went on to finding the top customers in 2014 that did not buy in 2015 Uh, and that basically helps us elaborate the concept of sing single column and multiple column selections and then sort when the data contains na and then we moved on to basically selecting all columns for a given set of customers and we understood the basics of uh, slicing rows using the dot loc operator uh, or the method and then uh, we learned about the in place uh, argument to make change permanent right and then we also went ahead Uh, and selected multiple uh, rows in in this context but uh, while answering this particular question and the next one that we answered uh, was a made up questions but uh, you know very essential when you want to kind of do like charting and uh, you know answer specific questions and reuse that data frame into some other analysis this is going to be very helpful that is using the same loc operator uh to select multiple columns and rows right and then finally we ended up uh with uh using the reset index uh, by resetting the customer id to um a basic uh, you know re erasing that uh, customer id uh, as a index id and then having the default indexes of 0 1 2 3 3 right and this basically marks the end of this particular video and in this uh you know a pandas video that we have done today we've covered the concepts of head method sort method setting an index selecting data frames 
through columns, rows, using .loc, then we have learned about the argument in place is equal to true where um, you know you want to make a change permanent to a data frame and this is something that we'll be seeing very common across uh, multiple thing methods that we are going to see in the future and then finally we also reset the index uh, to basically give way to create other index or basically do something else thank you for watching this video guys if you like the way that i have taught the pandas basics of data frames please hit the thumbs up button also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the ring button so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thank you